Hello and welcome to this small tutorial for the Love Struck Heart Socks. I'm not going to be knitting the whole of the socks. I am just going to be helping with the heart pattern here because a few of my viewers have said they've had trouble. So I was just going to help out and just go through the instructions for those so that it can clarify it so to help you along so i'm using the written instructions rather than the chart i find that more straightforward different people have different preference pref preferences <laughs> but it's up to you which one you want to i've actually nearly finished i'm on my last heart so as you can see from the picture on the beginning of the sock you have it on the front and on the back but i'm down here oh you can't see I'm down here and so I'm just knitting on one side but it's just the same on the other I would recommend that you put stitch markers in so you have one for the beginning of your row and you also have one halfway and that just means that when you've done your repeat, you can just knit up to that marker and then you know you're in the right place to start again on the next repeat. So let's start the first repeat. In between each one of these, it says in the pattern you do three rows, three knit rows. So I have done that. I will link the pattern down below if you haven't got it already. It does say between the written instructions and the the actual chart, it says the ch the following chart requires 10 knit stitches to be worked on either side of the heart chart. That is just for the actual chart. That is not for the written instructions. Those 10 stitches are included in the written instructions. I would also advise that you write down what row you're on so keep a track of it so you know. So let's begin. So for the first round we need to knit 11 stitches. So I'm going to knit 11 stitches. So I have my 11 stitches, then I'm just going to knit two together, yarn over, so bring yarn forward, knit one, so when we knit it we're wrapping that yarn around, the yarn's now back at the back, so it says yarn over again, so bring the yarn forward, slip slip knit, so we're going to slip as if to knit, slip as if to knit, then take your left needle, go through and then knit those two together. And then we're going to knit one, knit two together, yarn forward, knit one, yarn forward, slip, slip and then knit those together and then knit 11 until you get to that other marker. Now if you, this is your first heart, as I said, once you get to that marker then you are going to do your other heart again on the other side. Because I'm on the sole of the foot, I'm just going to knit round. So I'm just going to pause this while I get to the next part of this pattern. So. On row two, it will be a knit, so I'm going to finish this row, knit another row, and so I will be on knit, on row three. Okay, so we're now on round three. So I have my 10 stitches to begin with, and then we're going to knit two together. So just as if to knit, but you're knitting two stitches instead of one. Yarn forward, knit three, 
yarn forward and now we're going to do this double decrease so what we're going to do is we're going to lose two stitches but we're going to gain two stitches from the yarn overs as well so we've got our yarn over to start with then we're going to slip as if to knit and then we're going to knit two together and then we're going to take that slipped stitch that first slip stitch over the top and off the needle and then we're going to yarn forward again and knit three then yarn forward this time we're going to slip slip knit and then knit your 10 so then i'm going to go all the way around and you're going to do repeat that if you're doing it at the back of your sock as well so the next row row four is a knit row and i shall meet you back for the fifth row round five so i have my 11 knit stitches so i'm going to start off with a yarn over and then slip as if to knit slip as if to knit and then knit those two together knit seven seven knit two together yarn over and then knit your 11 and to the stitch marker so i will see you back after row six is a knit row i will be back for row seven a nice simple row for row seven so we need to knit 12 which i've done there already so i'm going to start with the yarn over slip slip knit knit five one two three four five knit two together yarn over and then knit the 12 to the next marker once again the next round round eight is going to be a knit round so i shall meet you back for round nine and now we're on to round nine so i have 13 knit stitches already so it's yarn over slip slip knit those two together knit three one two three then just knit two together yarn over and then knit 13 so when you have finished that round you'll be on round 10 so you want to knit round 10 and then meet back for round 11 round 11 so i have knit 14 so yarn forward slip slip knit knit one knit two together
yarn forward and knit to that marker. Then complete that round. Round 12 will be a knit round. And then we will be on round 13. Round 13 and I have knit my first 15 stitches. So now I'm going to yarn over. And then we've got another double decrease. So that's a slip as if to knit. Knit two together. Pass that slip stitch over the top and off the needle. Yarn forward and then knit to your marker, the 15 stitches. When you've completed that round, knit round 14 and then we'll be on round 15. Last round. You made it last round 15. So I have knit my 16 first stitches. I'm going to yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and then knit to that marker. So you will have another one to do on the other side. But that is my last part of the pattern because I'm just, it's my last one of the six. So once you have finished your 15th round, you want to knit three rounds and then go on and repeat exactly what you did for this one. So on the pattern, you've got two at the front before you do the heel. All I'm going to say is be aware when you come back to your hearts, when you're doing your decreases for your heel, just keep that three rows and then you start on your pattern. Follow that pattern down. Don't forget your pattern when you're doing that heel there. So that is it. So good luck. And yeah, I hope you enjoy knitting these socks. So enjoy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.